Well, let's take a look at what we've got up here in the canvas. What I like to do is spend the next several minutes talking to you about how we can paint a lake. Now, up here on the canvas, all I've done is thrown in a, a blue sky, uh, a few clouds, and, and a couple of little mountains, and some foothills. And down here is where we're going to have the lake. So let's get busy started with what's the process of painting a lake. Okay, the very first thing we need to do is to put some of the uh, acrylic medium in the area of where the lake is going to be. Now, it's been a few minutes now since we last went ahead and covered our paint. So let's do that right now just so that everything stays nice and moist. You have to constantly be checking that uh, with your acrylic paint. And, you know, the worst case is, is if you don't check it, yeah, you'll, you'll end up uh, uh, putting down some more paint. So uh, life doesn't end, okay? Life goes on. No matter what your kids say, no matter what you promise them, life goes on. One of the uh, uh, ladies that was interviewing my daughter who's a professional football player and says, you must have had really good parents. And, of course, you know, I'm beaming because, you know, of course she did. And uh, they, uh, they asked her, what's the secret, do you think, to your dad's success with you? And, and she just looked at him and she says, I think it was because he spread a little death around. <laughs> I always said, you know, a little death and destruction always does good in helping kids to realize who's boss. All right, we'll go into that some other day. Right now, I'm back to painting. I'm putting the even flow medium onto the canvas so we can have uh, a nice moist surface to work with. And there we are. I'm, I'm very proud of my kids. I got three good kids. And, um, but no matter how good they are, I realized I should have had the grandkids first. They're so much better behaved. Okay. I can relate with them. All righty, and I can send them home when life gets tough. Okay, now what I'd like to do is put in the lake, okay? And I'll, I'll go ahead and grab my uh, angled uh, bristle brush here, and I'll just dry it off on my uh, cloth. I've got a little towel here, and there we are. There's the color of the lake. And see, it's kept white, or kept wet all this time. We did the mountains on that, we did the grass. So now we've got a nice little lake. All right, I'm just putting on the uh, lower collar with um, water, okay, especially lakes and rivers. Uh, they break into two or three different color areas, and we have to be conscious of that, okay? And so the first third here will be the darkest. Okay, so that's why I'm putting this in just like this. And then, let's come right back here. See, this is the area I was working with. I'll just take some of the gesso and mix that in. See, gesso. A little bit more. There we go. And now I'll go ahead and put that right above it. See that? And so now I'm going from a dark to a light color. Okay, now with oils, this works differently because what happens is that when you start here, we've got a light medium as opposed to a clear medium, then the, uh, it will naturally get lighter as it heads down the uh, canvas or up the canvas. Skies is reverse of lakes. Okay, so there we are. See that? Now it's gradually moving to a lighter color. So let me take some more gesso, just like that, and let's put it in here. See, if you, if you know this information, you can figure out why you're doing what you're doing. And, and you'll be able to paint even better. I think I'm going to lighten that even more because I can't tell too much difference between what's already up there. So all I do is more 
white gesso. So always test. There we go. See that? And we can easily tell the difference now that we're up here on the cam. So no matter how light or dark you start, you've got to progressively move it to being lighter the further away. Now in the ocean, it's just the opposite. But this is a lake right now. Okay. And so we started off by painting this lake with this canvas with some medium. That's the acrylic flow medium. Then we put on uh, a nice wet coat of gesso, blue gesso here on the bottom, and lined it up. And this was how we created our, uh, our water. Okay, this is a lake. So this is pretty much how I paint most of my lakes. Now there's one other thing I'll do. And that's this, you know, if it's a bright sunny day like today, what I'll do is I'll put a little strip of uh, white gesso down the center and blend it out so that I have the reflection of the sun coming across. Let me show you what I mean. I'll just take a little bit. See, I've got this brush dried out from all that other color. Okay. And I'll just take this brush and lightly, see, I'll just lightly put a strip down there. Then I want it dry. Okay, and then starting at the farthest area back, very lightly touching. See that? And then come forward. And that's all that's required. And now I've got a little sheen right on my leg. If you ever get stuck with oils, if you use oils, you can also use that trick. But uh, that's, that's how we do it here. And uh, it makes a beautiful little sheen. Well, okay, the next thing I want to show you is that very frequently what will happen is we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll put in a nice little uh, foothills like we have. And we want some reflections back here. And then we'll want to put in water lines. Now water lines are nothing more than the little lines that uh, separate the water from the land. And it shows where the water is just lapping up against uh, the land. So let's come back here to some of this green color that we have right over here. All right, see this? And uh, it's still wet from when we put the... Uh, original foothills in and here we go we'll grab some more of this green just to make sure it's a nice bright green color we have here all righty now we're just going to go ahead and pull this straight down see i'll start right here and just pull and pull and i'm going to get a little bit longer as i come forward all right and that will show depth. Don't worry about the sheen. All right, there we go. All the way, if you need to reload, reload. All right, I think that should do it. Come over here, dry your brush off, and then let's come back here to the canvas. Now with a dry brush, and again, you know, make sure it's nice and dry. I generally will like this on my cloth to begin with, but if I get over here and I still feel that it's a little wet, I'll just grab that paper towel and, and you could just lightly, lightly pull it across. See that? And it creates the nicest reflection. Absolutely the best reflection. See? There it is. That's how easy it is to do. Just don't do it hardly. And see, right in here, we still kept the sheen going right through the reflection. That, I think, is just incredible. All right, with that, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of waterline. And for the waterline, I'm going to get a small brush. Remember the mud puddle? Okay, we're going to do it the same way. And all I'm going to do, let me show it here, is I'm going to just take a little bit right there and then just put the line in. Now if I want to mix it with a color, I can do that. And I think that exactly what I'd like to do is mix it with a little bit of the uh, green. <laughs> so 
I'll come over here and there it is I'm just gonna put some of this up here so I do not have to go running back to the palette all the time okay we'll show it to you up there see that just very very light green almost like a uh, uh, mint green all righty okay let's come on up here and I'll start at the far edge and uh, we'll just put on a nice little line now a lot of times I'll just uh, end up uh, putting uh, a little bit on the edge of a knife like this and just scratching it in but with the acrylics I do like to use the brush a lot more than the knife. See that? And that edge right in there. Alright, I get rid of the one edge, the inside edge, by just coming back and forth, but leave the outside edge alone. That's worth its weight in gold. Alright, so this is the number one uh, brush. It's the Museum Emerald. We showed that to you in the prep. Alright, there we are. See that? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So don't forget, water lines are very much part of your painting. And there's always two edges of that line. There's the inside and the outside. And the inside is what I'm blending up into uh, the foothills. And so now we've got a nice little water line. And we would be ready to continue on with the foreground in our painting. 